Hey guys, Cruel Blonde Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Aaron. Aaron? Yeah. I'm hungry. Well, let's we, get into that dungeon. We're gonna have to go in a dungeon yep. and find something to eat. And eat. Like yes. Like magic armor. Last time was magic armor. You would think, how do you eat armor? Well, it turns out they're more like uh, hermit crabs, kind of. Yeah, yeah mollusk. Mm hmm. Um, which we took a mollusk with us that was in a sword or something. We did, yes. Uh, new companion or... Uh, Danger in the future. <laughs> or something that will get revenge on us for yeah. eating its family. Yeah, it might eat us. It might eat us. That might be true. We eat it first. <laughs> hmm. I thought it was cool to have like the idea of a farm on the back of golems. Gardums. Mm. Garlems. Hmm. Garden golems. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, yeah, it's a it's a really cool thing that you can. Uh, they moderate their own moisture mm -hmm. so that they're always you know they're not. They don't want to be too dry. Yeah, they're not too apart, dry, but right? they're not too muddy either. You know. Yeah, that's really, really good. Too wet. As a. I like the idea. That it bandits. It protects for for bandits. Uh -huh. Bugs. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's fighting against. Yeah, them. man. It's just again. It's one of those things where the show like always gets me. Like the way they treat death. Is so like, hey, I died, you know. Like I'm assuming all those people could be brought back, right? Because um, which ones? The people like the, that were killed in the in, in the, the in the little bar yeah. place. Because like I suppose so. I whenever that happened in my head, I'm going like, oh my gosh, it's horrible. They're killing everybody. Yeah. But then I'm also have to think like they might. They it seems like everybody's died at least once. Yeah. <laughs> you know, someone might come here and revive them or drag them back to the surface. Maybe or yeah, like that. I yeah. suppose. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. They were also like, whenever they were going through talking about them, I'm like, yeah, some of them can't go back to the surface. I'm yeah. like, oh, some of these are just maybe some bad guys. Sure. So maybe it's like it doesn't matter if they die. But then also, like, the the orcs seem to have a uh, pretty good reason that they act the way they do. It seems like the humans and the elves have, for lack of a better term, dehumanized them. And they've been forced I, to go down underground. I guess. I don't know. It has that mixture of, like... You guys forced us down here by attacking us. It's like, yeah, but you killed and pillaged every other race that you could find, so we yeah. pushed you back. And yeah. So it's like they both did this, I suppose. I don't know. And now humans and elves and other adventurers come down here and pillage and... And, and yeah, and you see an orc, like, ah, an orc. down here, it, and then we you know? kill the orcs because they're evil, you know? No, I mean, and I've always, in the, the fantasy stuff that I've consumed in the past, like, orcs are always evil, evil incarnate. They're never... You know, like, so stuff like Warcraft or, uh, uh, you know, D&D, &D, like, it's not the case. So I had to kind of get over that, you know? Yeah. So I'm, I feel like this episode is kind of almost made for me. Yeah. World of like, Warcraft. No, orcs aren't terrible, you know? World of Warcraft and Warcraft has orcs and, like, they're often antagonists. But yeah. But there's also, it, they're not just all just evil. Exactly, yeah. So. You can't generalize someone just because they're an orc or half-orc. Yeah. Yeah. Um... There's also a person at the bottom of this dungeon that if you kill them, you become the king of the dungeon? You beat the mad mage. Or something? You beat the mad mage and you become king of the dungeon. That's mm -hmm. what they said. All right. So is the dungeon operating the way the mage wants the dungeon to operate currently, then? That would seem to be the case. I mean, I'm guessing that he's just, like, so far down there that it doesn't affect everybody else that's, like, up in the higher Maybe, levels yeah. or whatever. But, yeah, if you beat that, then you get control of how things work down there. Or at least there. the castle. I don't know how the castle... I don't know how it all works. Because, like, like yeah. we were saying in the beginning, like it's like, all right, graveyard, and then a tower, and then the tower yeah. goes down through the forest yeah. into a castle, mm -hmm. which is the golden castle, yeah. but it's not golden anymore. And they marked where you can poop. That's really nice. I think... Well, he marked. He marked where you can poop. I bet the lower dungeons don't have it. I, I bet you they... I mean, because that's where people poop, right? Well, in the in the dungeon level yeah, three, I bet you it's clearly marked, and they it. it I'm just saying you they, get to, they try to get that information. When you get out to there. level eleven. There's no there's no poop in dungeon. I mean, to be fair, if I was the guy going around getting fertilizer or whatever, I would have a secret bathroom I, only I could use. Why only you use? Because I just I like privacy. Well, that's all, all those are private. Like at home, I have a bathroom I use. It's my bathroom. You know, it's well. Well, yeah, it'd be weird nice. if like people from outside your home just came in. Exactly. Your bathroom. Yeah. Way, that's exactly it. <laughs> but no, I do. I I've spent a lot of time with my dad this weekend in his garden. So oh yeah, yeah this episode was a, a, a it's prime for it. <laughs> It'd be interesting to see, like especially like this episode, having uh -huh. the gardening on the on the golems and that kind of stuff. Like yeah, what he would think about that kind of idea. Sure. And stuff. I mean, like, you like wouldn't have to worry about fertilizing pests. and water. Yeah, and you wouldn't have to have like an electric fence. You wouldn't have to have 
you know, a scarecrow or you yeah. know, aluminum pots or whatever to try to keep what's, the pest away. What's the one percent though? That does it help the plants grow? You think, or is it something else for the golems? They said ninety nine percent dirt. Oh, but what's it, that one percent? Like it's secret. Are they just talking about the human shit? You know what they mean? The fertilizer is the. Well, then why was she so shocked that he's fertilizing it with poop? Yeah, you if might be right. That's the one percent because she was like, "It's yeah. secret," mm-hmm. and I was like, "Maybe it's the magic core." I don't know. What's one percent? Yeah, I didn't think it was poop. I think it's just poop. I don't think it's poop. Doesn't make any sense. Also, poop. You know, we're watching this on Netflix, and it said TVMA, nudity and violence. I was like, "What? Really? Okay, I didn't see any nudity." The, the orcs weren't really wearing any clothes. Yeah. But they were furrier than I expected. They were pretty... They were very pig-like. I guess. They were more like moblins from uh, Zelda for me mm. than orcs. But it's really just the noses. The noses. Yeah. yeah. They had that kind of like upturn. And it seemed to me like they had like tusk teeth going up. And almost always I see tusk teeth on the bottom like this. But these were going up and they were on the top. What? Which makes me... I thought so. And maybe I'm wrong, but... Uh-uh. But that doesn't seem like it would do anything. <laughs> I don't know what shot to look at. Uh, just any time an orc is talking, usually you can see their mouth. Yeah, uh, that's right. a good one. If you can play from there. But yeah, you see how we're, uh, we're at 2056 right now. And they have some bottom ones that go up. But they have like tusk teeth that are on the top of their mouth. Mm. And I just... I mean, it's more pig-like. Right? Well, pigs have that, but they have it on the bottom. And they don't have it on the top. You know, don't they have top ones, and that's the ones that spiral I mean, right into their brains, like like boars do, I suppose. Right? Because um, is it boars or warthogs or what? like they have it and they come up and it's it turns. Yeah. But like they can. But those are their head. those are for like they're like t- those are tusks. They're not teeth. You know. Well, these are probably tusks, right? Well, but they, so they do they trim them all, and they don't have like tusk tusk. I don't know. Pigs with tusks. I want to see. I want to see. I mean, I guess these ones come from the bottom. They generally do. These ones come from above, but they are yeah. coming through their nose. And I shit. mean, yeah, that sucks when that happens. But they're supposed to be used so much while they're rooting and stuff that they get worn down, kind of like a horse hoof, you know. Hmm. So I just remember like hearing about like they'd grow sure. and they'd pierce into their head. And yeah, they it can get pretty bad. I don't know. But anyway, they just. I mean, it's just their. Maybe design. it's an it's idea of an orc and a pig, so it kind of combines it and Maybe. does that. But this yeah. shot has the most of that. Because mm-hmm. the bottom tooth there is kind of coming up. It is, yeah. But that one there is much more. Sure. Here, I mean, it must be a tooth and a tusk. Maybe. Right. Mm-hmm. Like he can also chew with it. Mm-hmm. But I don't know what you do with this. I yeah, think. his his honor system kitchen thing with the chest down there that you just put money in as you go. Like it's just, I think it's just a. It's more of a like that can work, I suppose, but not in a dungeon. People that find chests in dungeons just think it's theirs. Well, they were, like, no wonder it always had money in it. Like, always. It wasn't like they came across it once. It always had money in it. Oh, this chest re- is It just money. refills. Did he put, you think he put change in it to be able to, like, you I would go. imagine, yeah. Water <laughs> system. I've yeah. driven by places where it's, like, free eggs. Yeah. Like, someone just had, like, chickens and had too many eggs, but they don't have, like, a box for money yeah. or anything. But no, I just, all those people down there in that bar died. They're bad guys. Well, they did say there are those who can't return yeah. to the surface for various reasons, but that can't be all of them, no, can it? No, I'm just assuming they're all bad guys. Even okay. the guy who owned the place was kind of a jerk. So, theoretically, they don't have any loved ones to bring them back. Yeah. So they're Because they're jerks. Do you think the orcs eat them? No. Why not? Because we eat the monsters we kill. Yeah, but... We don't want to waste resources. The orcs don't have much. What do you think they do with the bodies, Aaron? Well, they didn't carry them back home. They just carried the vegetables. Maybe they... Yeah. Could you imagine they were just, like, <laughs> carrying people? Uh, the orcs that I have no, they kill people. They eat people. <laughs> Bad flesh. Yeah. Yeah. They're terrifying. Well, these ones don't, because they're fuzzy. Follow meets people, too. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Delicious in Dungeon. We're going to be having more coming up, though. It's not one meal. It's a buffet. You can go to that buffet at blindwave.com and check out the next four reactions right now. Yes. Yep.